You know, they were the greatest team of the 1950s. They played in 10 straight Stanley Cups. But uh, in the early part of the decade, they only won one Stanley Cup. That was 1953, of course. We're going to be talking about the Montreal Canadiens. Now, the cup that they won that year came on the backs of losing uh, two Stanley Cup finals in Toronto in 51, Detroit in 52, then they lost uh, two seven-game series to Detroit in 54 and 55. Now, that 53 uh, Montreal Canadiens team, led by Dick Irvin, knocked off the Bruins uh, four games to one in the final. Now, uh, what was really interesting with the Stanley Cup uh, finals that year, the, uh, the Bruins had lost to Montreal the last time they won the Cup in 1946 with some of the players on the 46 Montreal team and Boston team still around in 53. Now, games 1, 2, and 5 were held at the Forum. Uh, Montreal won the opener 4-2, but lost in an upset 4-1 to Game 2. Now, when it went to, went to Boston, Montreal blanked the Bean Towners 3-0 in Game 3, and then it won 7-3 in Game 4. Now, Game 5 was a classic. Uh, pillar to post for 60 minutes. Went in overtime, and early in the overtime period, Elmer Locke probably scored one of the biggest game goals in Montreal Canadiens history at uh, 122 of extra time to bring the banner uh, back uh, to Montreal. Now, what, what really uh, stood for me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, was that uh, the two big w wins in Boston, the outscored the Bruins 10-3, uh, and uh, basically uh, showed the superior order of uh, Montreal yet again against the Bruins. Now, the 53 Stanley Cup was presented to Canadiens captain Emile Bouchard, by NHL uh, President Clarence Cabell, again following the uh, victory in Game 5. Now, uh, players on the team, including uh, Paul Masnick, Billy Ray, Elmer Locke, Johnny McCormick, Kenny Mosdell, Paul Murray, Doug Anderson, Callum McKay, Bernard Jeffrio, Floyd Curry, Dick Gamble, Mercer Al Rocket Richard, Dickie Moore, Bert Olmsted, Lord Davis, Doug Harvey, Emil Bouchard, of course, Tommy Johnson, Dollard Salonin, Jim Bud McPherson, Eddie Mazur, with goalies Jerry McNeil and uh, uh, Jacques Plant. Now, after uh, uh, Jacques Plant lost Game 2, 4-1, to one, he was replaced in favor of veteran Jerry McNeil. The move eventually paid off as McNeil uh, posted two shutouts in the last three games and only gave up the three goals uh, for. Now, uh, the president of that year for Montreal, of course, was uh, Donna uh, Raymond with Dick Irvin Sr. as uh, coach. Now, uh, and the great uh, Kimel Roche and Frank Selke Jr. were the publicity uh, directors uh, for the, uh, the team. Now, uh, if you look at NHL Stanley Cup history, again, from 1951 to 1960 inclusive, Montreal was in the finals. And again, losing to Toronto and Detroit in the way they did, they probably wouldn't have won 10 straight cups, but they came pretty friggin' close, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the story of the 1953 Stanley Cup victory for Montreal. Thanks for listening. Bye.